What's up, my good peoples? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. Uh, now, there are some people that I have to go back and do for uh, analyzing the skins or uh, the the new designs for characters, and I will do that pretty soon. Here, I have to go back and do Liu Kang because Liu Kang is somebody who has changed drastic or not too drastically he's changed a lot but still stayed to his original uh roots of design until motor combat one i think motor combat 11 had him a little different but not too much you know anyways we are going to go through natara's designs now she does have an alternate but given that nobody really knows her for her alternate you know the white fucking face paint or whatever i can't fuck with it i don't even want to show it here for reasons that i'm pretty sure other people may agree with as in it's it, it sucks <laughs> uh but let's start with this design now right off the back it looks like they put this vampire character in and to me when i was younger she used to kind of always look like megan fox okay she always used to just look like megan fox to me even as a video game character it's not too much like her you know they could have did better if they were trying to make it look like her but for obvious reasons they couldn't make it look more like her Uh, but one thing to note about her, what I would call Natara's uh signature is, for one, the b the bandana with the little piece hanging over the eye. People say it's a little eye patch, a little pirate thing. I never thought of her as a little pirate eye patch wearing pirate or anything i always thought that was just a bandana that hung over her eye and everybody likes that for some reason <laughs> i've never been a hugest fan of that but everybody liked this for some reason and i can't blame them. it's part of this hour's design and uh here you got heels she's not wearing any clothing right here which is crazy um nothing much here except for the fact that she's wearing a sash in the back her wings are a key point of her as well and then you have these little chopsticks or something coming out her hair i don't know what those are i, I mean i'm pretty sure they used a hold up to her or something in asian culture i just don't know any a lot about asian culture um but yeah i mean and then this right here the arm sleeves which were a weird design wearing arm sleeves and all the rest of her body is exposed weird design but overall a very welcome one i mean everybody has welcomed this design for some reason for me like i said it it's not the best design in the world it just gives off they wanted to make sexy vampire woman and that's what it was all about back in those days every character just sexy 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 and nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying and i mean i mean uh, i don't know it could be something wrong with that and maybe i'm just not seeing a problem but A fiend fatale is something that I always thought was pretty cool. A woman who was beautiful and had all the goods. But she could take your fucking throat out. <laughs> I always thought that was cool. So, as long as they made her beautiful, it didn't matter what she was wearing. Skimpy clothing, non skimpy clothing. It doesn't matter. This is very skimpy. 
very on the realms of very sexy vampire. It looks like a Halloween costume. Now, the only time we see this character again before Mortal Kombat 1 came out is in the 2021 movie, which featured Knee Tower for a split second. And she dies very, very briefly. This design is not a bad design by any means. Could have been better. It, it, it sports the red. It just looks like they didn't try hard enough. How hard is a red bandana to find to put across her head? Of course, this character was meant to be killed off pretty quickly. So, I mean, design wise, it's like. I mean, uh. It wouldn't really. It re wouldn't really matter. But all. All of the key elements that make Natara Natara are gone except of the wings. And a hint of red that she has. Maybe the green eyes are there and I can't see it. But all of the key elements are gone. She has a bun. Like she does. But I mean. I mean she has a bun but it's like her hair is not. I don't know. All of the key elements are gone. But overall this is not a bad design for Natara. It's just. Way different. Like. You would be able to tell this new tower by the way that she flies and shrieks and her wings are out, her mannerisms. So I guess that's more important here. Too bad she fucking sucked in that movie. Kung Lao fucking offed her so quick. He offed her quicker than fucking uh, Shao Kahn. Nah, nah, Shao Kahn offed him faster. Shao Kahn did away with his ass, bro. He. Damn. <laughs> Damn, poor Kung Lao. But anyways, yeah. This is what we see next of Natara. Nothing's the same at this design. So, what we'll do here is we won't go off this design, really. Because I don't even think anything from the 20, uh, or excuse me, from Mortal Kombat 1 is anything resembling of this. So we can go ahead and X that out here. Now we get Natara and uh, Mortal Kombat 1, which is Megan Fox. And I could not tell that was Megan Fox at first. She has the red. She has the vampire wings. Um, But just like the 2021 movie, she's almost completely different. There's no red bandana. She sports a tiara on her head. She has a fucking spike right here. Spiked up here. It's weird to look at. A weird design, but I mean, it's not it's not too bad. Now I wonder if they give her her original costume, her original design in this game. Will they? I know they're not probably not gonna do the the crazy shit they did with showing the full body and the abdomen and shit. But will they, for one, give her black hair, and for two, have the eye patch going over the eye? Give me a second. Hold on. Will they do those two things? Now. Like I said, if they don't have her full body showing and all out and shit, cause, I mean, she's pretty, she's pretty good looking like this. I mean, they they can cover up a little bit more in her original design and it would be okay if they go full out with the design and show her and her full get up. I would be surprised. That's pretty ballsy of them. Um, I do want to kind of dive into the lore of these characters. In a few videos but we will save the lore parts in another time we we need stuff to talk about we gotta space this out 
at the rate that I'm giving out videos, though, I mean, I maybe need to pump these out a little faster so I can get to the lore part because I would love to talk about Mortal Kombat lore. I would love it. Especially this new lore here. Not really much to go off of here. She doesn't even have the dagger. She even has a hint of purple. Where she does not have any purple here. No gold belt. I guess she you can you can call this the little gold change. This might be the dagger right here. Hard to tell. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's a different design. It's a welcome design though. Just like Ashra's design, which we haven't did yet. And that's what I mean by like we, we tried to do it but I never got around to finishing it because I had something to do and I didn't want to rush something like that these videos take time to analyze I couldn't do that to y'all she does have a long sash in the back like she does here but it doesn't doesn't last long she looks more vampiric she looks more uh She doesn't look uh I don't know. She looks like kind of like if Scarlet cuz Scarlet had a little vampire element to her. Kind of like Scarlet with the red hair and uh slashing on her chest and like she cut her chest across. Her fingers are long. That's fucking crazy. She doesn't look anything like her old design, though. Besides the face looking like Megan Fox. I mean, look, this is supposed to be Megan Fox, Fox's face model right here. He had long, skinny jaw. Long, skinny jaw. Puckered lips. Puckered lips. Long nose. Or long nose bridge. Long nose bridge. Who knows? Maybe it was uh, designed a little off of Megan. She doesn't even have the necklace she has right here. Or the pendant. Whatever the fuck this is. This is something random. What is that? Let me zoom in. What is this? <laughs> she has the green eyes. I mean. At least she has the green eyes. I mean. Fuck. I don't know, man. I really like the new design. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say I like the new design Even better Than our older design If she had black hair And this was a red scarf And not hair hair That would be a lot better But Fuck it I like it better than this design Cause this design Like I said Just gives off Sex appeal Nothing else She looks good Yeah But it's not it's given threatening but it's not I don't know I don't know I mean shit now that I think about it her design doesn't not make sense but it's cause she's a vampire I mean what are you gonna, like, are you gonna tell a vampire not to wear something from a movie standpoint maybe Hmm. I don't know. I just like this design a little bit better. I like this design a little bit better than her old design. Uh but yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I mean, it's not much to go off of. She's very much different. Unlike Havoc and a few other people, there's really nothing to go off of with. Natara We'll go through bios and everything in a different video 
But I just wanted to show how different her design is. Like her design went from this to the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie, which was nothing like this, to Mortal Kombat 1, which is still nothing like that. It's fucking crazy. But she's back. New design. New her. Wait. Same attitude. That's what carried over. The attitude and uh, I guess uh, her being neutral carried over. Which is good. But it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with the design. So. We will talk more about how she is like her older self. Story wise, uh, in a new uh, another video, but this the motherfucking show. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, need Tara here. I want to do Ashra. Ashra is pretty much it's gonna be the same bag. Sutton, a lot is different, but it kept a few of the same elements. I also want to do Scorpion, but let's be honest. Maximilian dude is he he covered a lot of the stuff that uh I've talked about and he is he's pretty good at it pretty entertaining so me making these videos are kind of pointless if somebody else did them <laughs> it's okay though I mean I might still make it because I, I like to really go into detail, uh, every little detail with everything that's the same about these characters. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go because I'm talking too long. <laughs> Take care.